So who of you is working in technology? Okay, there are only a few, that's good. Um, what, we had, what we applied to do was um, the Android devices that were very new three years ago. So who has an Android device here, just for the records? Oh, only a few as well, okay. That makes it even more interesting. So we tried to build up a market where, where it simply was none. So, um, and we applied some marketing strategy that is 25 years old, and it's called about um, influencer marketing. That's currently very famous in social media. And um, it's a little bit different what normal marketing does or, or is telling you. Um, because in most of the marketing um, pitches, you are asked, how big is your market? What we try to achieve is just to address early adapters and influencers. So most of the topics you're addressing with new products are new. Nobody will know them. And your market of interested people is very, very small. So, and people don't want to follow the next hype or, or they don't believe you that you are a disruptive innovation. So, and um, they ask you simply, why should I again follow this technology track and what is so different about it? So, a guy um, called Jeffrey has an idea about crossing the chasm. And what you can see on the slide is that there are different people and different interests of these people. So I would like you to reflect about yourself in which area you are a legate and in which area you are an early adapter. So you can be an early adapter for food or for speaking, as we have heard already, but you can be at the same time be a legate in technology. So, and um, this is much more um, important than these critical mass or how big is your market. And what we tried to set up is a really concentrated marketing only for early adopters. And we defined a strategy just fitting to them. And um, as we tried to set up an Android conference in 2009 with one device, we are trying to connect it first to all other early adopters. And we looked for like-minded people, and we also identified press covering stories about tech were interesting in this, in this area. And at the same time, Google was also doing the launch of the G1 in the States, and um, the Apple App Store was only, I think, like six months old. So we decided, let's get into this, because the App Store of, of iPhone is very interesting, and if there is a competition in between two devices, that's great, we are jumping on that train. So we defined how we crossed the chasm and got the early adapters to work with us. Commercially, it was very, very hard, because if you only have one device in a mobile market, it's very hard to promote this to people. You have few developers, so there were no applications expected, and therefore there was no business as well. So the first strategy we identified, our biggest early adapters w in business will be the mobile operators. Because they have customers, they have to sell something new. iPhone was a very close market, and um, we thought about the value chain. Manufacturers of handset will come next. And, um, then we try to identify, okay, if we now have an app strategy thereafter, how do we get business and developers together? Because suits and developers do not go good together. And um, so we defined a conference format that was really based on networking and does not, um, um, was not in the same boring way that normal conferences are because they are more broadcasting to people. So what we did was a barcamp format. So, and with the first conference, with minimal marketing, only with this early adopters, we completely outsold with 250 people, and that is very, very unique in this new format with nearly no lead in, in time. Um, we got two operators as planned and kicked off this um, format. So actually, it was built on connecting people and letting people promoting and letting people work on this. So we do not define a normal conference. We had a two days event with a bar camp beforehand and a lot of connections to the people with drinking, party, and actually they consumed the conference as a second day more than TV. But they all knew each other. All 250 people knew each other. So then we networked ourselves because we extended. And we were so successful in, in leveraging this early adapter community that in four years we expanded to seven cities and three continents and did 13 events already. Uh, we are currently continuing this and um, we are now on this map. The big green one is India. I'm here currently also to look for people in Shanghai, Hong Kong and Taipei to perhaps jump on the train and do with us this fun. And um, in Europe there are already four schedules this, this year. And um, what we did now in Berlin in March, 
was um, the new format, again iterated. We did a full week for developers and business marketeers to jump on this Android train with hackathons, with barcamps, and so on. So thank you for listening. <laughs>